Mr. Kagal, who currently is the general manager at Novotel Kolkata Hotel and Residences, the largest co-hotel in eastern India with 343 keys, comes with over 17 years of rich hospitality experience across brands like Hyatt, Taj and Marriott across India, Europe and the United States of America. He has worked with iconic hotels like the St. Regis New York, Park Hyatt Goa Resort and Spa and the Taj Lands End Mumbai. He holds an econel certification as well as Bachelor of Science in Hospitality and Tourism Management from Business School Chardon, Maupali, Switzerland. Arjun has a forte for finding balance between strategic management and adaptability and strongly believes that people are an organization's biggest asset and is enthusiastic about developing leaders by encouraging and motivating talent across the hierarchy. Sri Arjun Kagalu to be felicitated by Mr. Joyantu Ghosh, Vice President, GNIHM. Joyantu Ghosh, Vice Principal, GNIHM to felicitate Sri Arjun Kagalu. That's it. Thank you so very much. That is what I was expecting from you all. I guess. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for the vocal support as well. That's good. Yeah. Sir, we would love to listen to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. No energy. Good afternoon. Excellent. I, it, it's always, uh, firstly, thank you so much to the team, JIS Institutes. Thank you, Mr. Ghosh, uh, for having me here. Thank you so much. Lovely to see many students actually takes me back to the college days. I was also told that it's not just hotels. We have IT, pharma, and the hospitality sector students as well. Lovely to see you all. And uh, I also came to know that uh, parents are also here. It's always very anxious moments. Good to see your kids starting the most important phase of their lives. I think the first step is you have chosen a great institute. So that, that job is taken care of. So you don't have to worry at all. And the future is very, very bright. Before, I think uh, I'm not going to talk about hotels particularly. We have students across all sectors. I am not much into advices. Uh, I feel time is the best teacher. Everybody will get to know uh, what they have to do. I'm sure you're all smart bunch of kids here. You'll figure that out, right? Let me tell you uh, three pointers actually uh, applicable to everybody across. You don't have to be a hotel student. You don't have to be an engineer or a doctor. Uh, these are suggestions that work for me and I hope it will work for everybody. I think it will because I'm not going to teach you uh, rocket science. Uh, our team of scientists at ISRO has already done it very, very well. I think uh, you all know uh, we are celebrating that for the last three days, right? And uh, before I go to my three points, I'll tell you a small transformation, right? A brilliant transformation. We all know what happened in 1947, right? What happened in 1947? Yeah, Britishers left the country, uh, our economy was broken, battered, and 2022, India overtook Britain to become the fifth largest economy. How's it for a turnaround story? Wonderful, right? Why am I telling you this right now? I think India is inching towards being the third largest economy. When we overtook Britain uh, in 2022 at about $3.7 trillion economy, we were fifth largest. Now, positively, if, as per the reports, if everything goes well, in next seven years, India should be the third largest economy. What does it mean to all of you sitting in this room? What does it mean for the parents here? That your students are heading to the bright future and you have nothing to worry. Right. So, you have taken the right decision to join one of the best institutes, best universities, best hotel schools. Uh, the curriculum is the biggest strength this university has. Make the most of it. And I'm sure you're wonderful faculty and most importantly, the time will actually teach you the best lessons. Right. So, I'll tell you uh, three things that actually worked for me personally and I'm sure it will work for all of you as well. 
I, I won't call it advisors, you don't have to do it because somebody came here to talk to you about uh, this. But see if it works for you, good, implement it. If not, we move on, right? The first most important aspect is uh, your health. Right? Very, very understated. We don't normally talk about it. Uh, everybody talks about goals, everybody talks about work, everybody talks about money, everybody talks about what do I have to do, what do I have to become. Uh, that's what, if you ask any college fresher, what do you want to do? Uh, my focus is on becoming the college university topper. Then I got to go and find the best campus, the campus interviews, get the best company, good dollar check, or I have to go out. This is what it is, right? What people don't talk about is health. Please take some time for yourself. Uh, at least 30 minutes of a day has to be for yourself. Let me tell you a bitter truth, which nobody can actually debate this with me. If anybody wants to debate, I'm happy to take that questions, right? The bitter fact is that uh, one constant factor from the time we are born till the time we go down six feet under or get burned into ashes. The constant factor is not our parents, no, mo no mom, dad, boyfriend, girlfriend, brother, sister, husband, wife, nobody. The only constant factor is a body which we live in, right? The body is the, the only constant factor that is there with us from the time we are born till the time we die. That's the bitter fact, right? That's the fact. Nobody can actually debate. But what do we do about this, right? We, the least we can do about it is to look after ourselves. Something which you are going to spend your whole life with. Rest everybody's journey with you is only temporary. They can be with you for certain phases of your life. They can be with you for uh, most of your life, but nobody is definitely going to be there with you from the time you're born till the time you die. So what do you got to do? Please look after your health. I think a uh, uh, huge wake up call for the entire mankind happened in March 2020, right? What happened? COVID hit, suddenly everything turned around. Uh, many people lost their loved ones. Millions of them lost their lives. Many of them didn't wake up to see the light of the next day. That's what happened. And then everybody realized that no health is most important. And then in uh, travel and tourism, there is a, a particular term that became very popular. It's called revenge tourism. Uh, if uh, for people who have not heard of this term revenge tourism or revenge travel, I'll tell you what it is. I worked in Goa when the COVID happened and uh, we had to shut down the hotels from March 2020 until the September. When we reopened the hotels once COVID wave started slowly going down after the first wave, Goa's become packed. Chock a block. We didn't have any room available, whatever is the price of the day. Earlier, pre COVID, Goa rates used to be say a five star hotels on an average 10,000 to 15,000 or 20,000. Post COVID, we even charged 45,000, 50,000, 60,000. Yeah, I'm sure the same with the flight tickets. And very curious, we asked what happened? Why is this revenge travel? No, everybody's like, no, one life. We got to live, we got to uh, live the fullest. That's the revenge tourism that's got kicked in. And I'll tell you a small story also what happened after that. So where I used to work with Hyatt before and uh, right next to the hotel, we had a Decathlon store. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the Decathlon store. So I happened to know the store owner. Uh, we were having a chai uh, one of the evenings. I think it's around 28th of September. Uh, how's everything going? He said, Arjun, I can't complain, but COVID is the best thing that happened to us. I said, what, what happened? What, ha what changed so drastically? He says that the amount of uh, cycles I have actually sold, the amount of running shoes I have actually sold in the last one month is unbelievable. Everybody has become a fitness freak, everybody has become health conscious rather. That's actually good. It's a true demand. I think we, didn't, we don't need another uh, COVID. We don't need another uh, endemics or pandemics like that. All we I'm telling all the students right now, it doesn't matter. You can, you're a student today, tomorrow you become a manager, you become an engineer, you become a doctor, you become an entrepreneur, own your own business, you will be busy, but never too busy to look after yourself. So my request, please make sure you spend some time on yourself. That's the investment which will always give you returns, will never go back. That's my assurance, right? Please do try. And the second point is that we, we live in a world of instant gratification. Uh, for people, uh, it, let me give you another example. Let me make it simple. How many of you in this room are Amazon Prime members? Can I just have a raise of hands? Wow. 
many right why amazon prime in addition to watching your uh, movies and streaming uh, best shows and stuff amazon prime also helps you to uh, get things whatever you want instantly uh, when i say instantly when amazon prime started deliveries it used to be two days three days four days now if you happen to stay in cities like hyderabad kolkata also for some matter of fact there are times if you do you are a prime member order in the morning you get it in the evening so whatever you want you get instant right so the world is moving on to this page right now whatever you want click 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 order done if you want love swipe right right so it's everything you want you're going to get it instantly because of that uh, i i use two words applicable to everybody process and result right this generation has to be process obsessed we got to be obsessed with the process don't worry about the result result is merely a by product of it i'm sure people who have seen three dates have already learned about that in a more funny way while we all remember uh, three dates the movie and how it has become the essence of the movie is also all about this right why instant gratification because we are so used to getting what we want i, I keep talking to a lot of uh, youngsters and i i was exactly like that not that i i am telling you right now because i also learned the other way around you are only focused on the result always what's next i keep talking to a lot of freshers who joined the hotels i asked them how's everything going what's your, all good sir when will i become a manager i said wow you just joined start enjoying the work right so be obsessed with the process and th that that's also the fact is we are in the generation of uh, our attention span is becoming very 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 minimal yeah, if anybody can take a guess the attention span of a human being right now is merely 8 seconds yeah 8 seconds that's true Uh, if you see right now i stay very close by on the way from the hotel here you check your smartphone like 10 times go up the instagram reels 100 times i don't know why i am scrolling uh, unless i find a very good celebrity or an image i like i am not going to stop and i am going to keep scrolling uh, I, i this is very serious when i say 8 seconds marketing companies these days are investing lot of money in actually making videos where the audience are going to find it attractive in the first 5 to 6 seconds if otherwise if i cannot engage my audience in the first 8 seconds i am not going to look at the video if you don't uh, believe what i say just go back and look at what you do on your smartphone you keep scrolling your phone it very rarely there is a video where you will watch if somebody post one minute video god forbid i am not even going to go to the 20th 20th second 8 seconds and i am done if somebody posts a post which is two paragraphs no i am not going to read it that's not your fault that's not our fault that's where we are right now that's the generation we are we have so much of technology around us and technology mind you is the best thing that can happen how do we use it technology is actually an enabler i am not telling anybody that you shouldn't be i mean we live i'm i am on instagram i am on uh, social media my hotel works on that we have a digital marketing team i have a director of digital marketing communications who spend his or her time purely to make content which is uh, liked by our audience right so that's that's currently what it is so coming back to the point why am i emphasizing on process and not about the result is be focused on process that's what is a controllable variable result is an uncontrollable variable going back to the covid as an example december 2020 on december 2019 rather all the hoteliers everybody had a great december great closing nobody ever expected what's in store for uh, 2020 only when that happened everything collapsed stock markets crashed many millions of people lost their lives more than hundreds of people lost their jobs many companies got shut down nobody planned for it that's an uncontrollable variable but your focus has to be purely on the process on back to the students if your job when you join i am making process and the result even more simpler short term goals and long term goals have short term goals long term goals are extremely important i am not belittling them they are important you need them but focus on short term goals it has to be what am i going to do on week 1 in the college be it be pharma be it be it be it be hotels be it be aviation whichever industry you choose your focus is on how am i going to get better in this one week am i doing well okay there is no improvement my comparison has to be only with me do not compare a and b 
everybody's journey is completely different. Competition is, yes, it's important, but your focus has to be only on you, right? If you have to look at it and say, somebody says, oh, at this age you have become this, then somebody else will compare, hey, listen, come on, that is nothing. Mark Zuckerberg has become a billionaire at 23. What are you doing at 38? So, comparison is no. It's about you. How were you yesterday? How are you today? How are you going to be tomorrow? It, you got to introspect yourself. I planned my day, I planned my week, did I stick to my goals? Yes, very good, go ahead, plan the day too. If not, what did I do wrong? Go back and check. Once you start focusing on the process, result is merely a byproduct and I assure you, result is going to be good. Even if the result is not good, trust me, you won't feel disappointed purely because your focus was on the process of getting yourself better. And that always works. I give you a small, my personal example of how I was. I was completely result oriented. I was also result oriented. I'll tell you I love running personally. That's what I like to do in my free time. Earlier, uh, in wherever I used to run, my only focus was how many half marathons I run, how many marathons I run, how many 10 kilometers run, what kind of races I'm going to do, what timing I'm going to finish, whether I'm going to get the medal or I'm not going to get the medal. This is my whole focus about my run. And mind you, running is the most uh, important thing for me personally. That's what I love, that's my time, non-negotiable, right? But I go back, finish the race, I come back, many uncontrollable variables. For example, we work in hotels, we don't work nine to six. There are times where we have to stay back late uh, to look after the guest. Something happens, I don't sleep on time. Obviously, all these races happen very early in the morning. If you don't sleep properly and you have to get up early, you know you're not having a good day at the run or everything goes well, but on the day of the run, you have a stomach cramp, or weather is not good, very high wind speed, or you fall down, your shoelace comes off, something happens, and then I come back home, I get a medal, whatever timing, and I'm very frustrated. I, I started thinking, what am I doing? This is what I love doing, but I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. I think the simple twist is, I just started enjoying my run. I forget about the results completely. Now, my everyday run is to enjoy the process of running. I am not looking at the time. Yes, there are times where you look at how do you measure yourself, but otherwise I look forward to my everyday runs. That's the process I was focusing on. And trust me, after coming to Kolkata, I, this is almost my one year completion. Uh, I came in to Kolkata last Durga Puja. This Durga Puja I'll complete uh, one year in this wonderful city of joy, lovely people around. So after this, I've run about four, five races in Kolkata. All of them are extremely good and I was happy. And what changed? the same Arjun before, same Arjun now, the only change was my focus on being obsessed with results and being obsessed with when will I become next, what will I do next. As a, because of that, it's not wrong, but my focus was only on when will I become, what will I become. I stopped focusing on what am I doing and what am I learning and how am I doing. I think my suggestion, I, as I said, I'm not into advisors, you learn what's good for you. My suggestion is focus on your process. Result is merely a byproduct. Once you get obsessed with the process, result, trust me, is good. Even, even if it is not, you won't be unhappy. That's my promise. And the last one, uh, like I said, we, we reach a lot of, uh, in any company you go, you look at designations, you look at uh, fancier titles. Uh, today, uh, A was a general manager of No Hotel Kolkata, tomorrow there will be B, day after there will be C. So the designation remains the same, the business card name keeps changing. So don't give any importance to the designations. It doesn't matter who is there. You don't have to respect a person because of a designation. You don't have to respect a person because he's on this side of the stage and talking to all of you. No, it's, it's merely, it doesn't matter. Be a good human being. Uh, how do we do it? It's very simple. Your simple job is, as a student, your job is to make sure you add value to the fellow student. Your job is to add value to the professors who are teaching you. Your job is to add value to your parents who actually invested a lot of time and money and uh, looking after yourself. Right? So your simple task is this. Look after the person next to you. Be a kind human being. I think that, that's very, very, very important. You do these three things. One is look after your health, both physical and mental. Very, very important. Don't, don't compromise. Don't give yourself also excuse. I'm too busy. I have a lot of exams. I have interviews. I've become a CEO. I've become a GM. I am a CFO of a company. I own a company which runs 1,000 people. All these are excuses. If you're not fit, 
mentally, physically, you won't be able to do justice to your loved ones, right? So please don't compromise on your health. At least 30 minutes, that's your time, non-negotiable. Second point, be process-oriented, not just process-oriented, be obsessed with the process. And third, be a good human being. Rest, everything will automatically follow. And I'm sure your parents will be super proud. Your friends and colleagues who are with you will be super happy. And more importantly, you will be a very happier and a nice human being. I think that's exactly what we all need. On that note, thank you so much once again. It was lovely speaking to all of you. All the very best in whichever endeavors you are. I'm sure you all will do very well. For all the hotel students, I look forward to seeing you in some of our core hotels. For other students in IT Pharma, I look forward to seeing you at my hotel as guests for your conferences or sometimes for your events. Right? So it's a small world. We'll catch up. All the very best. Look after yourself. Keep smiling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone, thank you so very much. That's what we need. After every one of them has spoken their heart out, it's up to you to felicitate them in your own way by putting your palms together. Now, may I request Mr. Anmol Singh Narula, Director, JIS Group, to come onto the stage to uh, announce a very, very special thing, a very, very special announcement, rather, for the students. Mr. Anmol Singh Narula, Director, JIS Group. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I have some wonderful news to share with everyone today. Can I have our joint MD, Mr. Haranjit Singh, on stage, please? Can I have a round of applause for him, please? Thank you.